Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to render your click track out to an audio track from Studio One. It's really easy to do. Let's show you how it's done. I'm in Studio One, and I'm going to, uh, of course, make sure firstly that my click track is enabled and that I've set the tempo for my track. And I've probably been using my click track, obviously, at this point for a while. The reason that I would want to render my click track out to audio would be that maybe I want to include it with my project if I'm creating a, a mix down of stems to send to somebody or something like that. It's really useful to have your click track as audio because otherwise your click track is not something that's going to reside on a track. So uh, I need to make sure I have my metronome set properly. I'll play this back so you can hear it. All right, pretty standard click. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn this into an audio track that I can send out uh, with my project when I send it to somebody or something like that. I'm going to click on the little wrench that says metronome setup. Now that I've uh, clicked on metronome setup, I'm going to have the metronome setup panel open. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is make certain that my click track is set as I want it to sound because in Studio One I have the option to select a lot of different sounds for my click and really kind of dial in my click as I want it to sound. What we're going to look at today is going to be the render button right here, top right hand corner of metronome setup. I'm going to click on this and uh, now I'm going to get another pop up says render click. And it says timeline to so uh, timeline start to song end and render loop range. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave timelines start to song end selected and click on OK. I'm going to get another pop up that says rendering click. This is going to render my click. Now I'll go ahead and close my metronome. Now, as you can see right here, I have an audio track that is my click track. That right there is my click track for my entire project. Now this of course is based on the song start and end markers here for my Studio One track and I show my start and end markers by simply clicking on the marker track flag right up here. And this will be very useful because when I go to send this project, let's say to maybe someone who's collaborating with me or something like that and I'm going to send them stems, let's say they're working in an audio workstation that is not Studio One. Maybe you're going to collaborate with someone in Pro Tools or something like that, or they're going to do a mix for you, and you need to send them stems and include a click track because maybe they're going to dub something over or something like that. You now have an audio track of your click. Now you can click on Song and Export Stems. The Export Stems uh, dialog box will show up, and you'll notice that over here I have the option to export my click as an audio track as part of my stems. This way when I export my final uh, stems for my song, I'll have my click track as an audio track and anybody can simply take all of that audio, dump it back into any DAW that they happen to be working on. They will immediately have my click track makes it quick and easy for them to be able to collaborate with me using my own click track. So there you have it guys, that's how quick and easy it is to render your click track in Persona Studio One. I hope you found this useful. And as always, if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. You can get in touch with the comments on this video. You can also email me. I'm brian at obedia.com. Uh, even better yet, give us a call here at Obedia at 323-319-4051. Find out how you can work one-on-one -on -one with an Obedia tutor just like myself. Uh, we'll work with you on your own computer and show you how to get the most out of your audio hardware and software and help you tame your technology. That's what we do best here at Obedia. I want to thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you next tutorial. Take care. Thank you.